Pasternak. West apparently suffered some kind of mental break. Pasternak called an ambulance to pick him up. West was taken away, and then he was sedated with at least seven different psychiatric medications, including benzodiazepines, lithium, sleeping pills, and olanzapine. News reports suggested that West had experienced a profound psychiatric episode. He'd gone completely off the deep end. He'd gone crazy, and they've been saying that ever since. West, over time, though, told a very different story. In his telling, after what he'd said on stage in Sacramento, Harley Pasternak was trying to shut him up. Pasternak, he said, was not simply a trainer, but instead an agent of ideological control. Pasternak's job was to keep West from straying from the script, and he's willing to use powerful drugs to do it. That's what he said. But very few people took that claim seriously. In fact, it was exactly the kind of thing a crazy person would say. My trainer drugged me into submission. He's trying to make me into a zombie. Right. Sure he did. Have another olanzapine shot, Kanye. You look tired. So that's where the story stood until the other day. Nobody believed Kanye West. Then West posted something remarkable on Twitter, which for some reason virtually all of American media ignored, which is odd because media outlets are not usually in the business of ignoring remarkable things, but they did. And what he posted was a picture of a text exchange that he had had with Harley Pasternak. Pasternak was explaining that West had better stop saying, quote, crazy stuff. In other words, he'd better get back on script or else he would be severely punished. Quote, second option, if you don't shut up, quote, I have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. End quote. Try, if you can, to imagine a more sinister threat than that, a more chilling threat than that. Do what I say or I will turn your brain to mush. I will destroy your relationship with your own children. I will send you back to, quote, zombie land forever. Effectively, I'll kill you. Now, keep in mind, this is from West's, quote, trainer, not his physician. This is the guy he'd hired to help him do squats. A trainer? Really? Did they talk like that at your gym? Probably not. So what's going on here exactly? Well, according to his bio, Harley Pasternak, who has not denied writing these texts, once worked for the Canadian military, where he participated in experiments that measured the effect of various drugs on the human mind. Is that training relevant to this story? We don't know. We do know that based on this text exchange, which again, Harley Pasternak has not said is untrue or fake, on the basis of that, law enforcement agencies definitely ought to be looking very closely at Harley Pasternak who, by the way, apparently has dozens of other celebrity clients, some of whom seem to be out there campaigning. Based on these texts, this looks like a crime. Why is no one investigating it? 